Hey, it's Jack Riccardi, and for just a minute, here is something else to add to your list of what are they teaching kids in school nowadays. CNN had this very long discussion that was uh, started off with a montage of MAGA people referring to the United States of America as a republic, and then they brought in commentators and experts to say this was both wrong and dangerous. And in so doing, CNN displayed how wrong and dangerously so they are. Because we used to learn this in school. America is a constitutional republic. You could call it a representative democracy, but it is very definitely not a direct democracy. Here's what Article 4, Section 4 says. The United States will guarantee to every state in the Union a Republican form of government. In that usage, not referring to a political party. There was no Republican Party at the time, but referring to a form of government that they were elevating over pure democracy. In the time of the founders, there had been direct democracy, and it had devolved into mob rule. It was both dangerous and chaotic, and it was rejected by the wiser lights among us. Instead, what they wanted to do was protect individual liberties and minority points of view, which there already were many of, and they knew there would be many more in this new country. And the idea was that if you had direct democracy, the majority forms a kind of mob, a kind of permanent control, and they simply vote themselves privilege or power over and above anyone that doesn't have the numbers. In modern terms, one of the things a direct democracy would mean is that we directly elected, say, the President of the United States, and presidential candidates would only campaign in the biggest cities and states. That's a terrible idea. They knew it then. We know it now. So when people, whether they're MAGA or not, refer to this country as a republic, they're both accurate and they're describing what has been historically a much better form of government for us. They say on CNN that not referring to it as a democracy or correcting people when they do is an attack on democracy. CNN, I think, is an attack on news and accuracy. They even had a historian, Ann Applebaum, on their discussion to say unequivocally America is a democracy, always has been. Oh, and by the way, back in the day, the founders used those words interchangeably. None of that is true. They were very different then. They are very different now. The founders purposefully used the word republic and republican. It's kind of interesting that the left is in the business of changing the definitions of so many words these days, uh, and now they are worried or accusing someone of changing the definition of a word. Thankfully, for each and every American, we are a republic, not a democracy. And Ann Applebaum is not a historian, and CNN is not news. We'll talk about this today on the radio live at 4. You can find us at 550 and 1071 KTSA, and you can also find the podcast of The Jack Riccardi Show at KTSA.com.